you guys, this is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays, and today on the Daily Grind, we're going to be scoping for some head when we take a look at the recently buffed Buzzlock. Now, you can snag a blueprint to the Greener Lab of your clan dojo after you've completed the appropriate research. Just keep in mind that it does take Master Your Rank 9 to craft, so if you're not quite there or are just in a bit of a hurry, you can always pick it up in the market pre-built along with the weapon slot and catalyst for 250 plat. Now, its primary mode of fire is a fairly standard projectile-based fully automatic assault rifle with decent critical stats and a 2.5 times critical multiplier alongside a 10% status chance which is just okay. I think my two big issues with this is it does have a 3 second reload speed and its flight speed on the projectiles are not necessarily the greatest. Now while your primary mode of fire can be a bit of a bore, your secondary actually fires off a homing beacon that latches onto a target for about 20 seconds. All follow up shots will attempt to trace that target and grant you an added 50% chance to crit against them. Now, one of the big quality of life changes they made to this weapon is that it no longer attaches to terrain, but will only attach onto your target. So that way, no weird shots running all over the place. Now, as for the build, it's all pretty standard. We toss in a point strike and a vital sense to further drive home the critical narrative. Now, I believe that with the homing beacon attached, we actually have an 87.5% chance to crit against an enemy with a 5.5 times crit multiplier, and that is actually pretty intense. We've also tossed in a high voltage and a malignant force just to see if we can shred off a little bit of armor. Now the infected clip is in a little bit of a weird place and I only really use that for this video mainly because of the fact that I actually have a ribbon for this weapon um, which is pretty insane with a lot of multi-shot, flight speed, and base damage. A little bit of negative damage to Infested, but I think I can be okay with that one. Now, as for its top end damage, as you can see right here, we just go ahead and pin him with a little bit of a headshot, and we literally melt him in no time flat. Now, one of the big things that you do need to pay attention to, however, is I went specifically in for a headshot, and those headshots with that 5.5 times crit multiplier, alongside the weak point damage, and of course a little bit of corrosive to shred off that armor and that thing is dead in seconds. So all in all, after its buffs, the buzzlock is absolutely insane, especially if you can land a homing beacon headshot. That will just literally melt through your enemies. I think the only thing that will really criticize on this one is that you really need to make sure to lead your targets because of the fact that its base flight speed on its projectiles is a little bit slow and its accuracy is only about 13, which isn't that bad if you think bows are about 16, but it's not the greatest either. So definitely keep an eye out for those, and the reload speed might be something that you want to touch because it is 3 seconds, kind of like the Mutalist Quanta, but I do feel like this packs a little bit more of a punch, so it can kind of get away with it. Well, that about does it for the snapshot portion of this. If you guys want to stick around, I'll have gameplay and we'll have a little bit more of a further discussion on the weapon itself. So if the stats are all you want, feel free to go, and if you want to hang around, I'll see you in a second. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is going to sound very strange and kind of, I guess you would say, assholey. But I think one of my favorite things about the Buzzlock was the fact that it was it was very much like the, um, the Boltor Prime, but it wasn't the Boltor Prime. You know, kind of like when a weapon gets so hyped up that it kind of becomes obnoxious. And I think back in the days, I actually um, compared the statistics on both, and both of them actually came out a little bit the same. I think the... I think the... Um, the buzzlock came out a little bit underneath it, but now I'm almost wondering, and I'll be honest with you, I have not kept track of any of the buffs or anything that's happened with the Boltor Prime if I haven't, like, really seen it, but, um, I believe that they were actually fairly on par before, and I'm wondering if, with the beacon, the buzzlock actually might be able to outdo it, because the Boltor always had really, really good base damage, and that was kind of, like, its claim to fame, is it just fucking hit hard? Um, and because of the fact that it was mainly puncture based, I believe, it was um, actually halfway decent at dealing with armored enemies. It had kind of okay status chance, and it kind of had okay um, crit chance. Nothing nothing amazing, nothing to write home about, especially with that crit chance. Ha ha ha, I got you, you thought you were going to get away from me. Oh, that's definitely that's definitely a fun moment with the, uh, with the buzzlock is when you can kind of like nab those shots where you're like, oh, you think you're gonna get away? Well, no, not really. I've got you in my sights. <laughs> I'm chasing you down. Um, but yeah, the Buzzlock kind of like has that nice kind of extra burst if you want it. And I like the fact that now, because one of the big things that happened before was uh, sometimes it would strike terrain and all of a sudden your bullets would just go all weird wonky ways. Now, of course, until, you know, you fired off another 
until you fired off another shot. But now you can just kind of like use it as a standard assault rifle, which which is nice, but at the same time you can also kind of fire it off and get that extra bonus that you get out of it. Plus, it's ribbon disposition. Oh my god, did you see its ribbon disposition? I think its rate was like 4 out of 5, and that thing was just was just crazy powerful. Where are you? I see you. Thanks for being stuck and giving me a moment to get to you. Uh, but yeah, it's got a nice high ribbon disposition. As you saw, I got like a really nice, you know, base damage chunk out of it, even multi-shot out of that as well. Um, and that was really... That was, those were really, really nice bonuses. I just remember that I did not put uh, Arcane Grace on this helmet, which makes me very, very sad. Um, but yeah, so this thing, this thing, I mean, oh my god, I just thought about this, but Red Crit Smita? Oh shit, toss the crit on top of that crit with the 5.5 critical multiplier? You tried to sneak away from me, didn't you? Just makes it even more powerful. So, I mean, think of pairing this up with the Adarza, um, the Adarza and the Smita when they're giving you, uh, their crit buffs. I mean, that is pretty fucking potent. So, so if you're, you know, if you're a critty kitty, if you're, if you're a fan of the Critty Kitty, or actually any of the kitties, to be honest with you, um, having having the Buzzlock is actually quite nice, and it's a nice alternative from, you know, kind of like the standard meta weapon. It's not that I think the Boltor Prime is a standard meta weapon anymore. I don't think it's really out there, but I know that it was like one of those tried and true old favorites that people used to people used to kind of put it up against the Soma Prime, and they used to have like the bat the battle between the two. Oh my God, did he get me? No. No, he ran off. What? what the hell? He like landed super super far behind me. Wow, I can't even talk right now. So my mouth is so so filled with moisture. Moisture over the excitement of um of all of the crit damage that we're about to get. Where is this thing? Um, but no, definitely, I was definitely happy to see it kind of like on the buff list because it was one of those weapons that I was like, this is a good weapon. It just needs something additional and i think that the the bonus that you get from its uh tag and of course here's the thing you're not going to use a tag for everything you're just kind of going to kind of sweep through the enemies you're just going to kind of sweep through the enemies but like let's see in this case like i, I can tag that freaking that freaking um versa and just just go in at it is it dead already what's going on oh it's already dead um but yeah you can tag tag things that are maybe a little bit more of a pain and you can get the fuck out of the way, which is which is nice because you know maybe you've got maybe you've got like a napalm or a bombard that you don't necessarily want to deal with head on. You can you know peek out of cover, tag them, tag them with your whatever you need to tag them with like there, and then you can get out of the way and you can just kind of go in and smack them and that's always a nice feeling and I think and off of the top of my head I can't really remember but I think that they may have lowered the cost of the beacon too. If not, you know, it's still a good cost for the beacon one bullet as a as a Pios, as opposed to the Mutalist Quanta who's got um who needs 5 ammo in order to make it, you know, in order to give it the extra buff. Not, you know, not hating on the Mutalist Quanta or anything. It's just uh between the two I kind of actually prefer this one a little bit better. There's nothing that you have to do to kind of like set it up and position yourself. All, all you really have to do is just hit a target, and just as long as they're not super, super uber blocked by, um, super, super uber blocked by terrain, it's actually not half bad. Look, this little shit right here. Look, that little, like, can I just, see? See? So wherever you go, I got you. Got you, you piece of shit. And this is, this actually might be like a plus or minus depending on, on the person, but I'm actually a pretty big fan of the, um, I'm actually a pretty big fan of, uh, the... The, like the scoped in the scoped in tag now ignore this real quick because of course I mistakenly forgot to put arcane grace on this build um, why <laughs> when I was dressing everything you know I was just too excited over the new chroma fashion to uh, remember to put on my arcanes but I'll make sure to do that next time so no yeah this is kind of like I actually really really like this scoped in view I really like the scoped in view on this and it kind of gives you a little bit I won't say that it gives you more accuracy because I don't think that scoping in increases your accuracy by that much, but it lets you it lets you sort out what the fuck is going on in the battlefield a little bit better. Let's see if I can Actually let's get this guy. <laughs> your Osprey is mine! Your Osprey is mine, even though really the one that I was worried about was that one right there. Um 
But yeah, so basically it's nice because you can snipe down the targets that you see from far away. Maybe, I'm even wondering how this would perform with, let's say, uh, Loki's Hushed Invisibility. If you can kind of like tag an enemy, uh, tag like, you know, a priority enemy from far away, and since it's silent, nobody will know the difference, then you just kind of like rain your hail of bullets on them, and you, they never actually even get to see it coming. Because even in this kind of like, in this kind of space where we've got Chroma, he's more of kind of like an in-your-face assault guy. So with this, you can actually just run up on your enemies and not really worry about accuracy too much and just kind of hit the, hit the targets. Oh, see, like, where's this Bursa? Where's this motherfucking Bursa? Oh, there you are. Oh, and then we run, and then we run. Oh, because it's got the nullifier things on there. And as you can see, I can get the fuck out of the way of that Bursa. Refresh my buffs. Because the Bursa, it's it's still technically there. Because the Bursa's, the Bursa's not expired yet. But look at that scavenger drone. Oh, all of those ospreys makes it feel kind of good. And it and it also kind of I don't know if you guys remember the movie Wanted, but it makes you feel like a badass. You're like I'm bending my bullets. Uh, except when you completely miss your target like that. But that's one of the nice things too that I like that they improved on was the fact that it no longer clings onto terrain because all of that hot mess. That was probably one of the biggest irritation points is that after you um after you struck terrain with your uh, with with your homing round, right? After you struck terrain with your homing round, what would end up happening is you would be forced into shooting another target with the homing round in order to cle clear that first homing round, right? So with this, at least you can kind of just be like, all right, well, if even if I miss, it's okay. It's a little bit more forgiving mechanics-wise, which makes it a little bit more fun to use, you know? And that's kind of like one of the things that... Um, that I think comes with fun mechanics is that you shouldn't, like, if you if you fuck it up, you shouldn't feel penalized for using um, a fun mechanic or a mechanic that's gonna kind of like give you extra bonuses. You should enjoy the mechanic. You should feel incentivized, not not punished for using a mechanic that you know that is supposed to be a fun, fun way to kind of help you win. And and that's one of the things that often happens. Like, ooh, let's be real, it happens fairly often in this game where there's a cool mechanic that comes out and you're like, ooh, if you get it, it's really good. If you don't, it's a little bit of a punishment. And that kind of that kind of kills the fun for any of the mechanics, right? Kind of like, the, and maybe that's my I issue with the Mutalist Quanta, is like you really had to, even though you got this bonus critical, um, bonus critical dance, bonus critical damage and bo bonus base damage, you know, that was always well and good, but if you fucked it up, it didn't necessarily feel as good. Um, but yeah, so that about does it for the Buzzlock. I think it might be one of, if not my favorite of the bunch. I think it might be maybe like the second favorite of the bunch. Um, let me know what your favorite of the recent buffs was. Are you guys going out and trying out any of these weapons for a second time? You know, are you revisiting them? Maybe you have a couple uh, ribbons that you may not have really wanted to use before, but now because the buffs were in, um, it kind of feels a little bit better to use. Let me know in the comments below as well as any of the other buff weapons that you want me to go ahead and take a closer look at. Um, but aside from that, as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I will see you guys again next time. Bye bye